You want to know something about the hanging uh, chain. The chain is consisting, as you know, of single members which are connected purely flexible. This means there is no bending in this hanging chain. It's a pure tension line and if I turn the geometry of this um, line uh, upwards, then I have a pure compression line. I can build an arch in this shape with a minimum of material. It's nearly a parable. The next step is that I uh, don't take a single chain. I have here now many chains connected to a net. And you see um, here a hanging shell. We call this grid shell because it's uh, similar to a grid. And I can play now with this model. I can move the base points so it's more longitudinal and the stitch is getting higher and I can look how it is if it is more flat and I can even simulate how it would look with a column in the middle for example. I go in here with a little hook and if I pull slowly then I, I see how the shape is changing and if I pull higher then I see that the angles here get very sharp and I see that this doesn't look so good and is also dis dif more difficult to um, build so it looks better and is easier to build if I make the column like this. The good thing is that I am always sure that every shape I develop with this hanging model is has pure tension and is consequently if I fix it and turn it round a pure compression structure. Also in the model I can solder these points and uh, make it uh, in this way stiff and turn the whole structure around and then I getting uh, a model which um, is a compression structure. Was this uh, comprehensive to you? Did you understand it? Yeah, of course. So I'm very glad about it. Yeah. In addition to this little experiment, you see here in my model collection some hanging models which have been soldered and afterwards could be turned around as bending stiff compression structures.